told you I wasn't done with Texas. A year after the state's deregulated energy grid failed due to a cold snap, officials are warning that it might happen again. The Electric Reliability Council of Texas, or ERCOT, issued a tight grid conditions warning on Wednesday, with temperatures expected to once again dip below freezing. So far, estimates show that the state is expected to meet demands. But by issuing the warning, ERCOT can give cover to energy producers in the state to pollute more. The notice urges the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality, TCEQ, to exercise its enforcement discretion with respect to generator exceedances of air permit limitations. If you're wondering if the company in charge of running the state's energy grid would exploit cold weather conditions that last year led to blackouts and over 200 deaths, just to pump energy producer profits? The answer is yes. Yes, it would. And also with the full blessing of the governor. Last year, as demand spiked and power generation went offline because of freezing temperatures, ERCOT relied on so-called market-based solutions to save its energy grid. It allowed energy suppliers to jack up prices to 150 times the normal rate to discourage large consumers from going online and overpowering the grid. It led to billions of dollars in excess energy prices for suppliers and also regular consumers who were on variable rate plans were hit with energy bills exceeding $10,000. One supplier that went bankrupt because of the price hikes is now suing ERCOT. In testimony this week from the former CEO of ERCOT, Bill Magnus, alleged that Governor Greg Abbott instructed the company to keep allowing for maximum high rates for as long as 32 hours after enough energy companies had come online to meet full demand. During that course of time, ERCOT's network of energy producers gouged out $16 billion. Utilities are still more than $3 billion in debt, and it will be regular rate-paying Texans who will end up paying the bulk of it. State legislature approved debt relief legislation that gives companies a low interest rate to pay off their obligations through customer utility bills. It's estimated folks could be paying off that debt for decades. If only there was some politician in Texas that could rise up and exploit this crisis and expose the corruption within the state government. Oh, God, no. Not him. Please not, Beto. Hey, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our new videos. Also, if you want to see Means Morning News in its complete form, not just the clips we post here, head on over to Means TV and get access to all our new episodes and our entire backlog, plus tons of other great movies and original TV shows.